the sandworms that come and like eat everything. But it also kind of looks like a flashlight. It definitely looks like a flashlight. <laughs> to the point where uh, <laughs> people's the best meme I saw was uh, one ticket to the Sweeney <laughs> the Sydney Sweeney movie <laughs> and one Dune popcorn, please. <laughs> <laughs> It was still delicious. Cusky, you missed out. Bread and butter. Dude, you would have is bread and butter your bread and butter? <laughs> it is my bread and butter. That and 2% reduced fat milk. Um, you do <laughs> need to get these. I think it's right, but remember when you had all that milk there for, for the <laughs> hot ones thing? <laughs> yeah. One of the people that were over yeah, on Saturday, she was like, ah, oh, I kind of want some like milk. And I was like, I, we got chocolate milk. Do you want chocolate milk? She goes, yeah. So I give her the chocolate milk and I leave, go to the bathroom or something and I come back. And she's got like these sickest look on her face. It has to be bad. It's it gotta be expired by like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was barely bad when we had it. Yeah, it was. It was barely. Yeah. Um. So these are basically all for you, or as many as you want, on the back of your clipboard. I think there's doubles of one. Um. But yeah, she she did offer to make you a custom clipboard. I was like, that's too much for Judd. Um. We don't treat him that well on this show. I- I'm, I'm buying a new car, and I went to the dealership with your the clipboard you got me, <laughs> and it's just like clink, 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 clink. <laughs> and they're like, oh, you come prepared. I was like, yeah, I brought a file cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, there are a lot. What car are you going to settle on? I got I got the car that I wanted, and oh. I, we settled on it, and everything was going good. And then they're like, yeah, it's in Michigan. We have to drive it over. And I was like, wait a second. Uh, the miles yeah, I was like, a little higher than we that's thought. That's what I just said. I was like, this is a new car you're going to put miles on, so what's the new price then when it gets here? What they and, they, and they haven't told me anything. So I went to a de- another dealership, and then they're like, yeah, you can go wherever you want, but it's just obviously more expensive than – yeah. To to match what I had in the other one. Gotcha. Yeah, but so we'll see what I come up with. It's gonna be this week. We shall be waiting with. I, I'm breath. eager to know about your gift you received. Yes, I received a mystery present in the mail today. A secret knife. <laughs> so I got a, a package. Jim was like, "Hey, you have a package." And I was like, "Whoa!" And I opened it up, and at first I thought it was like she ordered. I thought it was something that she got of Amazon because she gets her makeup from Amazon. Mm-hmm. And it looked like it was like a little lipstick tube. I was like, oh, it must have just been your makeup. She goes, no, that's, it is not from Amazon. And I go, what? And I open it up, and it is a secret knife. We have to probably, <laughs> we have to probably blur that. <laughs> We're going to have to blur that. <laughs> but there's a, it was just a knife just sitting in my, in my mailbox. I have no idea. No I've texted note, everyone. No I've looked through my emails. I've looked through, there's no note. I've messaged everyone it possibly could be. And it's from just from like some game st- store in in uh, Florida, Hollywood, Florida. I I wouldn't say I looked up the website. They sell a lot of ammunition. They I don't do. know if I would call that a game store, but game like oh like, like a big game. Yeah, I was gonna say it's more of a doomsday preppers kind of website. It's fun. Yeah, it was a fun. I was like, oh sweet, this is. This I'm is jealous. Cool. I wish I got mystery knives. Yeah, dude, mystery knife. <laughs> you want to hold my mystery knife? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yes, oh. I have a mystery knife now. I'm going to be using it quite frequently. I used it to cut something today. Yeah. When you get something like cool, That's right. we all like, just, I, you we, just think of reasons to use it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I've had it in my pocket since I came home today. <laughs> I got a knife for Christmas, and I took it skiing this weekend. I don't know why I was going to need a knife skiing, but... Because a bear to... came out and tried to take you out. Fun fact, we did run into two moose. Meese. It, you know, I was Mooses. debating whether or not to say meese. Two mice? Moosias. Moose. Meese. We'll settle meese. on meese. Yeah, they uh, I uh, they had opened this new. Um, oh, I'm so intrigued by this. Sorry. <laughs> you gave him a toy now. <laughs> Shit. I've been playing um, with it. It's so much, it's so satisfying to just go like, you know what I mean? I feel like I can cut someone up for not giving me the protection money. You know what, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they uh, they opened this new whatever run on the side of Steamboat, and it's called Mahogany Ridge. Ooh. And my buddy's like, we got to go. We got to check it out. I'm like, I'm not really a black diamond skier, but okay. And it was a lot of fun. But then like, yeah, you're going through trees. I'm like, oh, tree sounds fun unless you're going on a 90 degree angle down. Yeah. And the turns are real tight. Like I ate it a bunch. And at one <laughs> point I lost all of my friends. I'm like, I live here now. I'm in the woods. <laughs> Good thing you had your knife. And 
<laughs> I think, no, I actually didn't carry my knife. I left it in my travel bag. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason we did that, though, is our buddies went before and, like, we saw a moose. We're like, oh, we got to go check this moose out. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, we think it's gone. They're closing the run. Like, well, we're going to try anyways. And so I go through this hellish run, still a lot of fun, and I make it to the bottom, and there's a bunch of people sitting at the bottom going, hey, hey, hey. My dumb brain goes, oh, they're cheering me on for making it to the bottom. <laughs> I legitimately thought, oh, they're congratulating me because yeah. they knew it was hard for me to do that. <laughs> and then I got closer. Like, no, fucking stop. And then there's a mom and a baby moose uh, just sitting there. And they had to close the run. I think we were about 50 feet from it. Wow. Yeah, our buddy got in between the mom and the baby, like about 30 feet. Because there was no one there cheering him on at the bottom and telling him to stop. So we just went right. Oh, God, imagine if yeah. your buddy just got fucked up by a moose. Well, they were collared. That'd be wild. They were collared. So, like, it, it oh. could have been scary, but they definitely have been around humans a little bit. I don't know too much about uh, meese, but... Uh, yeah, they were collared, so they had names for them. Like, we know who's there. It's like the wow. mom's this, the baby's that. Um, they're super friendly. You should have just pulled out your secret knife <laughs> and just went down full speed like this into it. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, just, just like a bayonet, just <laughs> yeah. like, on guard. It'd be so wild. Like, hey, Slide stop. by killing. Just <laughs> like, don't worry, guys, I'll save you. <laughs> Just <laughs> you, get the you guys see me down, down that moose? You just like, come back covered in blood. <laughs> like, what with happened? the baby. You just, you just murdered Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I think the name was like Millie or something. It was such uh, a sweet I, name. Yeah, that's definitely a moose name. Not to all women. How fun is it there, opening but... those knives? It's so Dude, fun. It's so much fun. I just, I'm just looking for excuses. Like, Do you guys want to talk to like... A story about like, we need sword to go, or something. We need to go like <laughs> just order a bunch of Amazon packages so you can cut the tape for us. Yeah. Or like have me point at Ooh. things like, oh, do you like that We should just thing tape over them. There? <laughs> if you guys want to send us stuff, we'll unbox it with Jack's, with Jack's knife. new with knife. With my <laughs> secret knife. Also, if this is a weapon that's been used, all our fingerprints are on it now. Yeah. <laughs> and Jack's saliva. Let no one, let no one be confused. Have you with checked your credit card at all? I've never, I've never bought the knife. Do you think one of your friends gave you a knife? I've reached out to anyone that I think it could be, and they've told me that they're not the source of my secret knife. Tell you what, if I find out this company didn't send Judd and I a knife, but sent Jack one, it's interesting. Per- that Jack's getting all these perks. Yeah, I've got well, one knife. Jack got a knife. I got merch. You got stickers. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. It's a good sticker. Yeah, I, I, was, I was putting some You see that knife? That one says, <laughs> I mean, that sticker, it says, Ope. <laughs> My favorite one is the one up top that says, I love day drinking. Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, that one. Careful, you might cut right through with that brand new secret knife. <laughs> it's not so, so secret anymore. No how many more gifts do you think house? we could send him and he thinks it's from someone else? Dude, that'd be so fun. Please send me secret <laughs> gifts. <laughs> I'll be like, guys, I found this secret firearm. Like, this AR. I'm just like, <laughs> We're just building him a, <laughs> into the fucking cave, An armory. A just, doomsday cave. We're going to send him a bunch of peaches next. <laughs> <laughs> how funny would be if this whole podcast was us giving him gifts. You two are putting the feed comments on there. We really don't have any followers. <laughs> yeah. It's just us three trying really hard to make it look like this is a good time. Because he's just <laughs> watching it on loop at the gym. <laughs> It's just on every TV. So why is this shitty podcast on? <laughs> like they're all like some guys on the elliptical. Like fuck, here's easy. Just back. <laughs> That'd be insane. No, but I am in need of a secret knife. This is actually really good because. Um, and you said how much it cost? I think it was it was a seventy five dollar knife, on sale for twenty. When I looked it up today, he knows a lot about the knife. Like maybe he drunkenly bought it one night. No, I looked up look up the name of the package. Oh, <laughs> at the website. But I needed to. So I was trying to go to bed the other night, and uh, there was a um, Rose Chuckett's ladder, as you know, Santa Claus. Rose, such a clatter. Yeah. Um, but there was actually, it sounded like Santa Claus fell off our roof. It did. And, and I was like, okay, it's probably the snow melting. So yeah. Fun. And so I'm sitting there, and it's like, did you fucking hear that? And I was like, yes, I heard that. It's probably the snow melting. She's like, can you go check? And so she's really nervous that there's now an intruder. I check everywhere. She's On the like, roof? No, she, just inside the house. She thought someone got into the house from the roof. We don't have a chimney. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so I checked every single closet I could possibly find. Come up to bed. She goes, 
anything? I go, well, I probably wouldn't be here if there was. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's downstairs, <laughs> yeah. but we're good. Yeah, do you, do you he's hear having leftovers. He's covered he in the said, blood of my enemies. He said he's no. not going to murder us <laughs> yeah, yeah. so we can go back to sleep. <laughs> and she goes, well, do you have anything to like protect us? And I was like, no, I didn't grab anything. And she's like, well, go get something. And like, I don't have, I didn't have a gun at the time. <laughs> yeah. and, and so I went and wink, I went, wink. I went downstairs and I grabbed my new Christmas hammer. Jen got me a, a Milwaukee tool hammer, and so I took it up to bed with me. And I was like, you know how shitty it'd be if the first time I use this knife is to not do anything handy with it. It's just to completely brain somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine taking to work the next week and it's all red, and you're like, yeah, someone got in from the roof. It's the new Milwaukee paint job. You'd be pretty conf- confident hammering nails in, though. If you could hammer in a head, you could hammer dude, in a nail. Dude, dude, if I had, if I had a hammer in my hands and someone did invade the sanctity of my home, I think they would be dismantled swiftly and efficiently. Okay, but now well, with my secret what knife, what side are you going? Are you going with the claw, or? Oh, I'm going b- brute force. But what, I, what I'll probably do is go down brute force and then obviously they'll probably yeah they'll probably get away from that first one because they probably maybe honestly i don't think so i'm pretty fast but if they did get away i would just go bang and hit him right in the thigh just gouge him a new one yeah you know thigh meat's pretty good pretty good thigh meat yeah and then i would murder them and i would butcher them with my secret knife and then i would feed them to my family well you would have had to wait a day to butcher them with your secret knife yes i would have had to wait for the the secret knife to arrive in the mail but we knew Whoever's looking you, out for old Jackie you, Bucks. All right. Do you think that someone broke in your house and ordered you? <laughs> like, you know what? This guy has nothing to protect himself. I want to make this a little difficult for myself. So let's uh, let's send him a knife, and I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back on Tuesday. Breaking in and accidentally <laughs> using his Amazon account. Just this guy, his home defense is abysmal. Let's send him a secret knife, and I'll come back. I'll come back in a couple days. Uh, do you guys want to play the game? Mm-hmm. Sure. Why not? Okay. Well, the game kind of uh, I was kind of leading in the game. Uh, Jack last week gave me a, a, a good idea. Uh, Price is Right. We haven't done any Price is Right games. When did I come up with that idea? We are one. You outbid me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. You, out, you outbid me. I'm quite the strategist. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, excuse me. When did you outbid him? On or, the last week's episode. For my secret knife. No, it was, uh, you, I, I did 370 for something and then... He would literally oh, yeah, yeah. 375. Oh, well, for how many Coke products? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little Price is Right game. I like this. And you guys okay. are going to guess the price of these crazy objects I found on the oh, internet. I like this. Secret Knife was $20. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and obviously, because, like, Bob Barker used to have a good good intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he used to have, like, a, you know, a good voice. So hey. I, I wrote a, bu- a few of those. Crash in style with these Louis Vuitton airbags. How much do you guys think Louis Vuitton airbags like for your vehicle? For your car. <laughs> no, it's so funny. <laughs> getting into an accident and then just getting decapitated <laughs> by a Louis Vuitton <laughs> airbag. It's like, at least it was designer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Death by designer. Um, I'm going to say... Is it a pair of airbags or all of them? All, all of the airbags them. in all the car. All airbags. I'm gonna say twenty-four thousand. Bob, twenty-four thousand is is Michael's bid. Jack, um, I will go twenty-seven thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Bob, and the market value for these Louis Vuitton airbags. Thirty-nine thousand dollars. That's as much as your new car. That's insane, <laughs> right? Insane. You'd be like, you know what? Let's double the price of this car. When I total this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want everyone to know I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what would be best, though, is if they were put into, like, a 1999 Toyota Camry. Yeah, yeah. Not, like, Dude. anything nice. It's just... <laughs> Dude, some sort of Subaru or, like, a Mitsubishi Eclipse. <laughs> yeah. All right. Going from airbags to fun bags, how much does it cost to get your boobs done? On average. A good one? <laughs> uh, uh, on average. I'll let you go first this time. Breast enlargement surgery. Um, it's got to be like veneers, right? <laughs> <laughs> got to be. Don't they have to they shave down be. your teeth for veneers? I don't think they're... <laughs> yeah, but they got to <laughs> cut open your They have boob, to shave. I think and then so. they got to like put a new nipple on. Like You know what I mean? That's a lot of work. Have you ever, se- have you ever seen someone try to put icing on a cake in some Wait, sort what? of design? 
You put they're not on. putting a new nipple on. You got to rearrange where the nipple sits. Yeah, you but you're not putting the... a new nipple on like it's a Lego, like you're popping it off and no. popping it on. <laughs> Typically, what you do is you cut around the nipple, you make an incision, and then you slide the boob bag in. With less expensive boob jobs, they cut straight line below the nipple. And that's what you see in a lot of porn stars these days. Guys. If you don't have this answer exactly, <laughs> Why do you I'm going to be so upset. Much about this? Because I like breasts. <laughs> No, that's breast surgery. Yeah, I'm interested with how that happens. <laughs> okay. Um, All right, so, Jack, you got to go first. Um, you won the last one. I. This is the thing, is I would hope someone spend a lot of money on it. I'm going to say 13000 $13,000 average cost. Boom. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say 9999 9999 9, 9, 9, 9. That goes to Cusky. It's actually... Pretty cheap. It's four thousand two hundred and ninety-four dollars. Yeah, those boob bags Ooh, what are gross. boobs Average. are? Are those are uneven boobs that, for that sure? That means it's two thousand one hundred forty-seven per boob. Yeah. So if you only want one boob, you can get one for two k. Yeah, but when they pull those out, they look like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a lazy eye nipple. You got one definitely over here, one looking right at you. All right. They're still fun to squeeze. Well, think about it. What are those like? Remember those. Jello things you get like through the dollar store or something. Where you like tubes. squeeze the tube and it pops out. Yeah, that's basically what a boot bag is. <laughs> I feel like some gotta be Except way harder than others. Of dinosaurs. If a girl Imagine ever if you knew our podcast, they'd be so mad. <laughs> um, what if Jen told you there were dinosaurs in her boobs? How hard would you try and get to the center? I would use my secret knife. <laughs> <laughs> I would find those dinos. <laughs> All right. Uh, spit, spit me, baby, one more time. How much did somebody in 2004 put up a chewed piece of gum that was in Britney Spears' mouth? Oh, this is going to be outrageous, like half a million. Eight grand. I'm going to say Britney Spears, she's got fake boobs, right? No. No? You should see she her. doesn't? I don't know. She could use them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding, Britney. Two we love you. Two grand boobs? Isn't she crazy now? That's a crazy one, right? This is in 2004. 2004. This is when she had her hair? Is this is Britney Spears toxic? Yeah. 2007. Oh, okay. Then can I can I change my answer then? Yeah. 2004. 2004. This is pre her smashing the car window with the umbrella. $25,000. $25,000. 48,932. 48,932. I don't like the winner on this one is Jack. $14,000. Damn. For one single I thing. thought your fans were crazier, Brittany. You did. Okay, so it's 2-1. Two, 2-1, one. Two, one, two, two, one, two, one, Jack. One. All right. Wait, did Some, someone buy it? Uh, yeah, someone bought it. Would you you could keep, get a great boob job with that money. You yeah. could get a really good boob job. You could get three boobs for that kind of money. Do you think the person that bought me, it... Uh, <laughs> wasn't, you could get wasn't, like, a, yeah. wasn't in the market for a boob job. I'm going to tell you that. Do you think the person that bought it just keeps it framed or... They're chewing they it. They chewed it. They chewed it. I think they swallowed it. They have to be dead. They're making well, terrible decisions. Piece of Britney's break. always inside them. At least they think. Well, because they're dumb enough to buy it, so they think she's always inside them. You don't poop it out. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Also, gum sticks in you for seven years. Seven years. So yes, yeah, so seven you, years of Britney Spears. So he probably pooped it out in in your body. <laughs> pooped it out <laughs> and put it back in 20, 2011. He pooped it out. All right. Uh, sometimes do you feel like a couch potato, or do you want to send your bud some spud? How much does it cost to mail a potato? From mysterypotato.com. Oh, I've seen this. It's not much. It's like, I think I'm going to go $22.99. $22.99? It only costs eight ninety nine to Whoa. mail wow. a potato through the mail. And I you can write thought about doing that a few times. Yeah. Jack, that's what you're going to get next. You're getting a secret <laughs> potato. <laughs> now I know. But now at least I have something to cube it up with. <laughs> All right. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, are you lonely at night or have a long distance lover? Get the boyfriend pillow, a half shaped man with arms and torso. I'm hoping this one's cheap because I How might send it to mine. <laughs> is a boyfriend pillow? Two hundred and forty nine dollars. One forty nine. Real cheap, thirty four ninety five on Amazon. Wow. That cannot be anything close to the warming <laughs> arms of your significant other. You might as well just get a pocket pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you get a dildo. Don't want too. a pocket pussy. You get a dildo too. It's fine. 
You can get the, it's way it's the same price and it's arguably so much better than a pillow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey babe, um, didn't want to get you the body pillow. Here's a pocket pussy. Sorry, Let no. me know how you use. No, why don't you just get, get it? I feel like Jack might know this one. Chinese food and Star Wars have never merged until now. Panda Express strikes back with lightsaber chopsticks. <laughs> how much are lightsaber chopsticks? Seven ninety nine. This one goes to Cusky. They are ten ninety seven. Ten ninety seven. He said sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, I'm yeah, over. You, he would win. You technically are over, but you're closer. No, I'm closer. No, I right? said six ninety nine. Yeah, he got that one. He got that one. He said seven ninety nine. Okay. So eight, nine, ten. I how said fourteen ninety nine. And what, how much is it? Was it's it? ten ninety seven. Oh, you might eleven. Have to. There, he's closer. I'm closer, but yeah. I went over. Yeah, that's count. No, We're not doing that. Yeah. Okay. My secret knife says otherwise, Judd. Cusky <laughs> uh, would love to do this to his cats. A giant tongue that you can lick and groom your pussy. It's a giant tongue you lick your cats with. Like Where you do you attach mouth? it? Yes, you put it in your mouth and you lick your cats. Oh. It's on Amazon. How much? How big? Cost? How big's the tongue? Yeah, how big's giant? It's, it's, it's probably about yay big. You lick your cats with it. I feel like much like the boob job is gonna be cheaper than we think. Yeah, because you'd want a quality tongue. But you're not gonna feel. <laughs> you're it gonna anyway. bay this significant other. Ooh, giant tongue. I'm I'm gonna say it's cheaper than we think. Twenty one ninety nine, Bob. Twenty one ninety. That's what I thought. That's what I was thinking. So I'm just gonna go twenty. Jack wins this. It's seventeen forty nine. That's so crazy because you could ju- you sh- you can buy a boyfriend pillow for just a little <laughs> yeah. bit money more than that. You can also just use your own tongue. Oh my god! To, to lick your cats. Yeah, <laughs> and you have a hairy tongue. All right. If Kung Fu Panda has inspired or inspired you, and you just want to send Jack one, how much for this high performance battle ready Japanese katana sword? Three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Battle ready. What? Oh, Three hundred and ninety nine dollars, Bob. Okay. If it says battle ready, it probably isn't. I'm gonna go two hundred and forty nine dollars, Bob. Wow, you way underbid this one. Cusky wins with it's four thousand six hundred and seventy nine dollars. <laughs> Think how many body pillows you can get with that, <laughs> dude. Think how many how many body pillows you can cut in half with that katana. Think how many secret knives you can get. Dude, you, you, you can you, cut off those shitty tits you just enemies. bought. Yeah. Wow, $4,000 right. for a sword. Or boobs. Which one are you taking? Boobs. Cusky not could- my own. <laughs> I'm not getting boobs. But if you... Okay. In all honesty, my super girl, she's got... She doesn't need them. She's great. All right. Uh, Cusky could use this because he's not a baller and he doesn't have 20-inch blades on his Impala. Lengthening surgery. How much does it cost to lengthen your legs? That's a lot of money. Lengthen your tits is four. To lengthen your legs, got to be twenty. You're not lengthening nipples. <laughs> You're cutting them out, apparently. Yeah, just engorging them. Twenty, I would say it's it's like a knee surgery. You got to go. I'm gonna go fifty thousand dollars, Bob. Is this with insurance? <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, twenty thousand, Bob. Jack wins this one with it is one hundred and twenty. Thousand dollars. Holy shit! Drink only, Wisconsin. Only, we better start paying. <laughs> it only costs four thousand dollars to cut those off again. <laughs> <laughs> With Jack's secret knife. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have three left. What is it? Four three. Yeah, it's four three. Jack. All right. When your man goes away for the weekend, you better put your cock on a leash with this Yisto chicken harness and leash. It's a comfortable breathing harness that fits a six-pound chicken. Are you serious? For yeah, a chicken? you can just walk. Twelve ninety-nine. Six-pound chicken. <laughs> so funny. Fifteen ninety-nine. What was your, what was your Twelve ninety-nine. 
Cusky wins it. Nineteen ninety nine. Chicken harness. Think of all the gifts you're about to get just from this game. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Cusky's mom sent him a knife? <laughs> <laughs> or boobs. All right, we have two left. All right. Syphilis this one out. You want to buy this house before it's gonorrhea? Al Capone's house. How much did Al Capone's house sell for? It's just fucking stupid. Oh. <laughs> it's a good one. You did a good job. Thank you. Did the government take it? Does that is that like a trick nope. answer? It it sold. Okay. Al Capone's house sold. One when point, did it sell? I don't know. One point eight million. One point eight million. Mm. Three quarters of a million. Three quarters of a million. Jack is dangerously close. One point three million. Wow. Yeah. What'd you say? One point eight. All right. Did your car break down? You need to get to the hospital. Use these Adapt GTO Pro Rollerblades. Professional rollerblades for people who love inline skating. One hundred twenty-nine ninety-nine. One hundred twenty-nine dollars. One thirty-nine ninety-nine. Cusky wins in. It's one thousand four hundred forty-nine dollars. These are top of the line. That's a quarter of a tit. That's the nipples. It's just a nipple. it would be a damn good nipple, though. And that's how you play. Is it the price right? It should be played. Why are you buying this? Yeah, there's some things on there. Like, the fact that someone is manufacturing a six-pound chicken harness. <laughs> so, so the research for this was very funny because all the stuff was insane. Yeah. I, I was like... Just, What'd you Google to find this stuff? Like, insane things on Amazon... Stupid, uh, like stupid, expensive things that no one will ever buy, and things like that. That's when I came. Like the Louis Vuitton airbags is so That's wild, w- insane. That's almost as crazy as getting a funny water themed Tesla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. That's a goal. I would love to get that funny water Tesla. Just do the podcast in there. <laughs> well, honestly, you'd live out of the Tesla. Yeah, I would live out know, of it. Yeah. That's all the money you'd have. <laughs> funny water sponsors. Yeah. Again. Give us a Tesla. <laughs> Give us a Tesla. Think of all the stuff we could do with it. Well, I mean... One of us could do something. We would cut out the airbags with Jack's secret knife and put in some Louis Vuitton ones. We'd have to sell the Tesla to buy those. How funny would it be? We're driving along in a, in a car. You're in the passenger seat. And all of a sudden, they get in an accident. You go, poof, and the airbag comes out. You go, are these Louis Vuitton? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they wrote a Supreme. <laughs> 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 Louis Vuitton airbags is so funny. That's crazy. What was it? Thirty nine thousand. Thirty nine thousand dollars. You could literally buy the car. Yeah, uh, yeah. The type of car you're putting Louis Vuitton airbags in it better not be a thirty nine thousand. But also, car. then you're hoping to crash that car <laughs> <laughs> to show people. To show people, like, hey, dude, I have Louis Vuitton airbags. There, yeah, that's bananas. I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna need a glass car to show. You're people. just trying to spend money at that point, though. You're like, I have so much money. You're like, what else can I do? Yeah, there's some people in the world that are just like. You have so much money, you're like, I can't spend this if I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what else I can get? They, Louis Vuitton airbags? They said, they said like, uh, Bill Gates or something, like, if he drops $100 bills, $100 bill on the ground, it takes him, like, by the time he picks it up, he's already made triple that. Yeah. That's disgusting. That's fuck you money is what it is. Yeah. What do you do with that much money? Louis Vuitton airbags. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, also, but the, like a lot of the well, your dad probably the conspiracy theorists yeah. were like, oh, he bought all this farmland and stuff. Didn't I was he? like, yeah, what? You have all this money. What do you want him to do with it? Yeah, I would buy farmland. Oh, absolutely, yeah, I'd buy land. Great. What would you do in that land? Chickens, harnesses? No, they would roam free. They'd roam free. Free if range. I had a chicken in the city, it would definitely be on a harness. If you gave someone eggs from your harness chicken thing, do you think you'd have to put that on the carton? Harnessed? Not free range. Harnessed <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Harnessed chickens. Not free range. Yeah, you just couldn't. Honestly, there was people walking multiple dogs outside, like a bunch of them. Imagine just walking down the street, just a bunch of chickens, <laughs> just on <laughs> leash, just literally <laughs> rolling deep with some. The thing is, they don't listen like dogs. So, like, eventually, at one point, when they decide to stop, you're just gonna have to drag them with you. <laughs> and then you got dinner. It's like, oh, yeah, the walk went great. We got dinner. Yeah. If you're buying a harness, you're not eating your chickens. What's the point of them? I don't get it. What's the point of having a chicken if you're not going to eat them? I guess the eggs. <laughs> you answered, an, an, you answered you your own question. Yeah. Answered. yeah. Real quick, real quick. 
<laughs> just uh, trying to think that one through. I just don't get it. The tongue one really pisses me off. The tongue one? It they have a picture that, of it. That that's got to be for like the furries of the world that actually think they're a cat. Also, they went uh, they're all out of them. <laughs> like it was sold They were out. sold out? <laughs> they were sold out. It's for furries. And they're licking each other. They're yeah. probably not actually licking. No, they probably are licking actual they cats. Yeah. Actual cats. Yeah. Um they definitely are doing that. I was just talking with somebody and they were they were like uh <laughs> they they were at a, con- a convention. And there was a furry convention going on there, mm-hmm. and it took him till day three to realize it was a furry convention. He thought, there, "Oh man, they have a lot of mascots." Oh, it's a mascot convention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which he didn't know, but yeah. But uh, until he saw uh, a furry being uh, on a leash, being led by another furry, <laughs> like God, they were crawling on fours. <laughs> really selling the bit. Yeah. I don't know if the furry convention would be the number one. I'd w- I really want to see what Comic Con is like. Like the big one is that in San Diego. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Just to right. see, like, because some people go all out for that. There's a Comic Con almost. There's one in Milwaukee, I think. You would you you would go to it? Yeah. Would you dress up? I wouldn't probably dress up. Unless like I if got, we paid you, would you dress up? Yeah, if I got a really cool costume. Yeah, we'll give you some cameras. We'll let you go be. On the floor at Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> Let around. me talk with some people, and then just have you talk nerd with people. <laughs> but hammered. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. I'd be, I would it'd be, be amazing lost. watching us try and talk to some of you. Like, so what are I you? Think you would do, <laughs> you you would be our. I could be I could be decent at it. Yeah. I I would find my niche. Like, oh, I know who you are. But then there'd be some character be like, not a clue. You would be like. I would know Batman, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I don't know. I'm very like specific with what I do pay attention to. Oh yeah, yeah, and also like some of them are animated, and I was like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, the anim- the animated ones I probably won't be able to get. Vid- anything video games I can maybe pick up. Um, some people get just so niche with that stuff, though. It's like, oh, I really like Super Mario Bros, but they go as like the green pipes. Like, they're very specific with their characters. I don't think they're going as the Green Pipes. That'd be hysterical. That'd be I think that's what we should go <laughs> that's, as. That's your new <laughs> Halloween costume. I'm the Green Pipes from Mario. You could be Mario. We'd be Green Pipes. I just am a plunger. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, a Mario's plunger. <laughs> Does a plunger ever show up in a Mario video game? No, because no. he's jumping on the pipes and snaking it on himself. <laughs> That's funny. a very good That's point. Very yeah. funny did you watch the it. Mario movie? No, I did not. I wanted to. Did we talk about that? I said it, it scratched the itch. You did say that. Yeah, it yeah. scratched the itch. Like if you grew up playing Mario <laughs> and all the games, a lot of people I think I heard complained about it. It's like, oh, it's not a great movie. I'm like, it's a fucking Mario, it's a Mario movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. You're, not, you're not gonna go home and go, man, that's up there with <laughs> what is <laughs> Okay, Chris Chris, win an Oscar. Chris Bratt's gonna win an Oscar for that yeah. voiceover. That's up there with Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Oppenheimer was great, but they all looked like if one like they all looked the same. They all every one of the people besides Oppenheimer look like Josh Peck to the point where I'm watching the movie. I'm like, is that Josh Peck? Oh no, it's a different <laughs> one. He's, no, that's Josh Peck. No, that's not Josh Peck. That's Josh Peck. I haven't watched it yet. I want to watch it. It's but. so long. The problem is it's yeah, it's so long, and I can't I I can't get her to sit and watch for a three hour movie. And I'm not the person that will start a movie and then go. You know what? We're an hour and a half in. Let's finish Does the rest t- tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> The amount of times I tried to get her to watch Star Wars with me, and they're like two-hour-long movies. We'd get in there for 30 minutes. It'd start at 9.30. It'd be 10. She goes, I'm a little tired. I'm going to go to bed. I'm like, you haven't even gotten to anything that makes you want to watch it yet. I get so frustrated. Yeah, that's annoying. Have you seen uh, the new thing they're doing with the Dune? No, I haven't even seen Dune 1. So, it's a good one. Uh, the The new promotion is to... Uh, you can put over the top of um, oh the popcorn bucket of the popcorn bucket. It's a basically like it it it's like a Venus flytrap for your hand. And you slide it. down. It's like the but worm, it's, but you it's know the rub- big worm. but it's rubbery. It's like a worm's mouth. Like a, and you put it, and you put your hand in there. And you get the popcorn yeah. in there. <laughs> you have the sandworms that come and like eat everything. But it also kind of looks like a flashlight. It definitely looks like a flashlight. <laughs> to the point where. Uh, <laughs> People's the best meme I saw was uh, one ticket to the Sweeney, <laughs> the Sydney Sweeney movie, <laughs> and one Dune popcorn, please. <laughs> <laughs> and one Dune popcorn, please. <laughs> That's incredible. 
<laughs> Dude, it does look like a flashlight. Yeah, I haven't like seen that. How have I not seen that? Yeah. See if we had the they do uh, yeah. movies need to not be three hours anymore though. It's too like, much. Two, I when are I like the two hours? I used to be excited for a two hour movie. I was like, oh, this is a lot, and I'm gonna really enjoy it because it's something I really want to see. Always most movies hour and a half. This is that's a flashlight. <laughs> that is a alien flashlight. Yeah. All it costs is like thirteen dollars for a large popcorn. <laughs> the more you know, Bob. But yeah, two hours I think is the max. It's got to be the max for a movie. Three it's, is just. They're, well, they're trying. The thing is, like, the reason you go to the movies is, you know, a, a, it's an experience. Yeah. So they're like, well, let's get them there for the longest possible because they can't get us on streaming. Right. If you could get on streaming, it's gonna fucking do it. Well, that's why they have like restaurants attached to movie theaters now, and the bar. Also, I think, I understand, the bar and all that stuff. Movie. In my opinion, that's the dumbest decision ever. At least as a movie goer, I'm not going to start drinking during a movie and then have to get up and pee nine times yeah. during that three hour movie. Because if I start drinking and I'm having a time, yeah. I'm yeah. going to keep drinking. Yep. And then after beer four and you got to pee, that seal's broken. And you're like, well, I'm not seeing the rest of this yeah. movie. Yeah. You Dude. can't do it during like a serious movie. I did get like pretty fucking hammered for Burt Kreischer's movie, though. Have you, but that's also, different. Did yeah, you hold was, your pee? No, because the movie wasn't. Good. Yeah, the, the, so I would literally but also, just. You do that at concerts yeah. too, like yeah. you drink at concerts. You're yeah. Like, Shit, the headliner's coming out, and I'm gonna pee, and I'm gonna lose my spot. Yep. I just did it for uh, Shane Gillis on, on Friday. We went for drinks beforehand, and we drink drink it during the show, and they have just like, well, Josh is like, well, we might as well get two because we're not gonna come back here. I was like, yeah, that's so smart. That's yeah. so, so now I'm double fisting twenty four ounce yeah. beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like. We get through. We get through the openers. Uh, my, my my friends that I know, uh, Johnny and AJ, were the openers, and then I drink. I drink the, both drinks, and Shane's does it full hour, and I'm like, oh, he. I just have to wait for his closer. I need to wait yeah. for his closer, but I need to pee so fucking bad, and I'm in the middle. Like I would have to like rush, and I was like, <laughs> all right. As soon as his closer, I just got up and like me <laughs> first. And I just, like, <laughs> there, there, and like it's. It, it's the worst feeling because you almost don't enjoy what you're watching as much because you're thinking about Bunch not pissing yep. your pants. Yep. It's like when I was in college and we would take a bus to go to the Brewer game. Drinking on a school bus, knowing you're going to go get drink in a parking lot at Miller Park, yep. amazing. But that first 30 minutes, great time. The last 45 minutes, you're like... 15 minutes, you're like, ah, I feel like I kind of have to pee. And that's all you can think about is you have to yes. pee. And then it comes on quicker. And all of a sudden, you really got to pee. And you're like, there is no bathroom on this bus. We're not stopping. We're in traffic. And you're not even, and you're not even thinking about what anyone's talking to you about because uh, they just pissed in a bottle and they used up all the empty space for you. And so now you get off the bus. You can't stand up straight because if you do, you're going to piss pee your yourself, pants. Yep. So you're w watching like – March of the Penguins, all the guys run to the porta pies. Get the it sucks. It it takes the yeah. fun out of a lot of events. Yeah, you, it, the focus thing is big for me. If yeah. I'm like at a concert and I need to go to the bathroom, I'm like fuck, I'm I only thinking about how can I go to the bathroom as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever peed in like a Gatorade bottle? Or like I have a good one on that. I uh, on the way to a formal in college, I peed in a champagne bottle, and then. Um, People took um, all the bottles off, and I got a text from one of our buddies in a group chat, like, um, this girl Carly just took a sip out of the champagne bottle, thinking it was like, oh, it was full. Pee. Took a swig of my piss. It's like, listen, the bottle was open and warm. Why are you drinking no, out of it? That. That's on you. That's on you. But she just took a big, and imagine yeah, that no. shock. I've never made someone drink my own pee, but I used to pretend I was tying my shoes in bars that were You made it sound like I made her yeah. drink that. <laughs> Used to what? <laughs> Pretend I was <laughs> tying my shoes. So I'd get down on a knee and I'd big tie my shoe and I'd just like be in the corner of a bar or something like that. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't be blamed for that. We might need to cut that. <laughs> we might need to cut that. <laughs> you let me know. <laughs> oh, the old shoe tie chicken. No, just I, no the, best part, the best part is one hand would just be flinging the laces around to like make it look like it was and the other one would be like. Shooting it behind <laughs> me. <laughs> you could only do that if you were in shorts. That's a summer activity, right? Oh no, I would no, because I would just undo. Unzipper, yeah. Oh damn! How many times do you accidentally like piss all over yourself? That's happened a couple times. <laughs> That's actually why I stopped because it went all down the back of my sock. It's like, did you slip while you were tying yeah. your shoes? I used to do that. 
And then now I'm like honestly, like, I have such a weak bladder now, where it's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get up and go. I'll miss it. I'll miss it. Yeah. Yeah, but. there's there's times where I'm just like, oh, we're close to the bathroom. Perfect. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's I'm fine. Like, a concert, I don't mind as much because usually you can still hear it. Um, you miss out on, like, the excitement of everyone hearing the, like, big song or whatever. Yeah. You try and go during a song, like, eh, I don't really yeah. give a shit about this yeah. one. The the comedy thing and a movie thing, you don't know what's coming next, yeah. which is a little more tough to go through. Yeah, that's usually, Concert's that's pretty tough. easy to go pee in. Yeah, the movies are becoming too long, though. I love a good two-hour movie i just watched I we were on movies i just watched um loving which is like the first like legally um married uh interracial couple and that was in a movie j- it just yeah it's just a movie about it oh about it okay yeah um and it do you was, think it just happened the I, other day? i was like i've seen movies <laughs> <laughs> and so it just like generally wanted to watch it and i was like okay well how long is it like if it's gonna be a really emotional one i don't want to be emotional for like two three hours because i get pretty caught up in my feels oh. and so it was it was two hours and four minutes like this is the perfect amount of time for me to be really serious about a movie and then walk away from it going all right now time for me to play video games like it won't affect my whole night and that was perfect it was two hours good length are you got all the important parts and you're a big crier in movies um, it depends on the movie. Like at the end of uh, Avengers: Infinity War, definitely cried at that. Right when they all come out of the portals, it's just such an epic cinematic moment where you're just seeing all of the work from when 2014, when those movies started, and they're about to kick Thanos' ass for the. Didn't they start in 08? Didn't Iron Man? Wasn't that 08? Oh, probably was 08. Yeah. 2014 was the first Avengers, I think. Yeah, I. <laughs> I, I wasn't crying because of the story. I was crying because I was like, this is really fucking cool. This is a cool visual <clears throat> moment. I thought... But I also cried at the end of Brave, <laughs> which is a Disney movie. <laughs> I've cried... I've, I, every once in a while, I get a couple good ones where I'm like, fuck. I'm I... Pissed. The Avengers one, I watched with my buddy. He teared up. I was more like a... I like the... Uh, like with stand up, you bring everything together. That was like a big, almost like yeah. goosebump moment. From like, oh, that was so well That's written. That was, was yeah. really cool. Didn't necessarily tear up for it. I, but, I was like, this is metal. But I was that so one, that one definitely scratched the itches of like, oh, they finally, they did full circle with it. I, I don't know. I started tearing up. I, you, you start. You get a significant other, like oh, emotions unlocked. It's not, yeah. it's not cool. Like you see, like a homecoming video of like your dog or something like yeah. that. I'm like oh, that's kind of sad. But yeah, but movies. Some, some wild what? Movies. Homecoming video of your dog? Dog you're, you're or coming like, home and oh, your dog is excited to see you. Uh, no, 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 not like a homecoming like military one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or um, your dog was gone for like a month and they like somehow found it or something like that or they're rescuing dogs now and stuff like that. It seems like you only cry over dog movies. Should we unpack that? I'm an animal lover. I'm an <laughs> You've animal You've never lover. owned a dog. I still yeah, like animals. Crying about it. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a dog. I wish I... They lost their dog and they got it back and I haven't even had one. I couldn't even lose it. This dog is running for homecoming, King. I can't believe <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even gonna win. No, they gave it to the cat. <laughs> they gave it to the varsity <laughs> captain. That dog deserved it. Did you cry at Air Bud? Never seen it. Uh, I'm not a fan of sports movies. <laughs> Honestly, the best one is Air Bud. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. A like, lot of sports movies are tough. Sports I don't, movies are awful. They're they're terrible. The best sports movie is Space Jam. Okay, uh, that's a no. Fucking wild. That's a hard. No. That's it is. Wild. It is my favorite sports movie. What's uh, your favorite sports movie? Uh, it's gonna be like movie, Remember the Titans. The comebacks. <laughs> <laughs> it is. A, it's like the not another teen movie. Uh-huh. It's like a spoof on sports movies, and literally the guy's name is a Seal Terry, but the coach only calls him ACL Terry. <laughs> Go tear it up, ACL. Go tear it up. And the dude gets like hits by buses. He gets mangled and like he just pops up. And then randomly one of the coach spits a sunflower seed on the and he spits a sunflower seed on the thing and he accidentally steps on the sunflower seed and breaks both his ACLs. <laughs> it's like it's What is the, this called? It's called the comebacks. It's like a silly stupid movie. And like I kind of want to see it's, it. It's now. the, it's, it. the yeah. it's the traditional like they they spoof all of the yeah. sports movies. See, I like that. I like that. That would be a good one. I I'll put that in my top three sports movies. And I've never seen it. It'd probably go Space Jam, Benchwarmers, Comebacks. Benchwarmers is great. Not a sports movie, kind of is, but like what what kind of movie is it? 
watched a movie about some fucking guys that talk about their wieners the whole time. Like <laughs> yeah. it's, it, with baseball ste- in the background. Must be steroids and mac and cheese. Yeah. That's but it's it's a good it, that's a fun movie. I have I have a lot of fun with that movie. I don't know about my favorite sports movies. They're terrible. Well, the thing is, like, they're always going to end. This... Space Jam is terrible. It's a you nos- have nostalgia. It's, it's a nostalgic have thing nostalgia. for me. Yeah. It's not the plot. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the new one? Miracle. Miracle is a good one for me. Miracle. Haven't cried at that one, though. I thought Blades of Glory was pretty good. Blades of Glory. <laughs> Talladega Nights. That's Talladega Nights. That's, good those are good, yeah. I like. We're really stretching <laughs> the sports <laughs> movie. Yeah. I, what I hate about sports movies is because I play sports, and there's never a time in the bottom of the ninth of the inning where you just, like, you think about all, like, you, your fathers in the crowd, and you point to them or something like that. Never you got to hit a home run. If I'm sitting in, like, literally in the batter's box, and the thing I'm thinking about is, oh, my dad's watching this. I'm not. I'm going to struck out so easily. Yeah. Like, you don't think about that. That would only happen for me if angels were in the outfield. <laughs> Flying good dead people, as I called them. Um <laughs> What the the other uh, flying good dead people? That's right. <laughs> that's still one of the best hints ever for the angels on the outfield. <laughs> flying good dead people. The other thing with sports movies, I hate when they try and be different. You have that moment, bottom of the ninth. Think about your dad. Got to hit a home run. Bases are loaded. Down three. And then they strike out like they're trying to be different. It'd be way better if they actually just, just hit the fucking, fucking home run. Just give me the moment. Just give me the watching. moment. Dude, Don't try right. and be different and be like, uh, oh, he struck out. Or they end it right they before never he even won. hits it. Yeah. One, one, of the best, right one of the best movies, uh, that, sports movies that everyone says is Friday Night Lights. Everyone's like, oh, I love Friday Night Lights. It's nostalgic. You know, everything isn't that. In Friday Night Lights, I'm going to root it for everyone who hasn't seen it. In Friday Night Lights, they, their star running back gets hurt and they have to like come together and like make – they get to the state championship and lose. Mm-hmm. And then, right before the credits roll, they go, after that, they won four state titles in a row. Show us those movies. Why <laughs> show us that <laughs> season. Why show us show the us, dynasty. Why did he show us the one that lost? Dude, <laughs> okay, this is not sports related, but this is, this is about um, the movie that I watched called Loving, which was about the first legally married interracial couple. And so it ends with them... Getting the, getting the like, actual wedding, like, okay, this is legal now, all right? And it goes, seven years later, whatever his name is, got killed by a drunk driver. That was, like, the first thing that happened. Like, it all got good. Everyone was like, woo, yeah, they're married now. And then it goes, killed by a drunk driver. And Jen goes, what the fuck? <laughs> that was an unnecessary fact. Yeah, you, you would have just like credits rolling. We didn't have to know it. You didn't have to know that. She was so, oh oh another sports movie, Iron Claw. Did you guys see Iron Claw? No, no but I heard that's emotional. It's as so fuck. fucking sad. Everyone dies. Spoiler um. alert. <laughs> that's an actual spoiler because it just came literally out. everyone fucking dies. I won't tell you how or what happens, but ever it all becomes sad. My guess is drugs and emotional abuse. What's so that? Well, here's the thing is, Jen and I thought it was going to be, like, a wrestling movie. So we're like, oh, shit, we're going to have a bunch of, like, Rip Zach Efron, like, suplexing people. Is that guy like, in it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, is, Jeremy is Allen White Jen? and... Jeremy Allen uh, White, some other guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's like a, it was a good movie, but, like, literally, it's just, like, it talks about cur- a cur- how the family's cursed. And the movie is just nonstop, nonstop. And Jen thought it was going to be, like, one of this, like, this really fun wrestling movie, like... Zach Efron ripped just wrestling another oiled guy. Got so sad. And every time something happened, I'd look over at her and she'd be like. <sighs> like she was trying to like deal with it. She stayed up till 2.30 in the morning after that movie because she was so like pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so sad. And then even they had Ric Flair in it. A guy played Ric Flair. And it was just this soft bodied guy that looked nothing like Ric Flair and a big yellow you, wig. You wish his body was harder? No, it was just this big fat guy with fake tanner on and a wig. It was like you couldn't have you could have at least tried to make him look like Ric Flair. <laughs> you could have brought in the real Ric Flair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just give Zach Efron another wig. But <laughs> Zach Efron played everyone in that movie. <laughs> He's real Eddie Murphy in the clumps. It was wild. But if you were ready to like go through it, watch that movie. So movies are too long is what we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes they're too long and they're sad. We need more Avengers. Don't be <laughs> Jack needs to cry at Iron Man one more time. Uh, that's wild. I don't think I've ever... I've never seen any Avengers, so... Fucking I stopped man. after Endgame. Me I was too. Like, yeah. that, was, that was my version of it. 
That um, was your end game. That was my end game, yeah. The rest of the ones apparently suck now, so I'm happy I don't watch it. Yeah, really when can't. they came out with She Hulk, She She Hulk Attorney at Law, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, someone needs to pitch this again. <laughs> this is so stupid. Here's this giant ripped green girl, but she's also great with law. <laughs> <laughs> One call. That's, that's all. all. She Hulk. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's like yeah, you know I mean, she could kill everyone in here. Said she's going to use her words. It said she's going to go, Your Honor. I object. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor? She Your could punch Honor, through his. You don't want to see me, man. She could punch through that guy's face. <laughs> she's going, Actually, I disagree because of this book. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> and she's green and no one's addressing it. <laughs> no one's addressing <laughs> no, it. Everyone's like, Yes, yeah, so, so, it's a really t- well thought out argument, She Hulk. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> How many episodes have you watched? None of them, but that's all I picture. It. <laughs> that's why I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> it. It's so fucking stupid. Do you want to pitch now? Pitch a movie? Some drink Wisconsin, please. I wish the glass broke there. Dude, that'd be a good pitch. <laughs> Honestly, if the, gra- <laughs> the glass breaks, that would be. Unreal. That'd be that'd be the end of that. When we remodel, you guys want to see She Hulk in person? <laughs> 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 Let me break this. Should we just have one? Yeah, I think we should, like have, we should one. have one. Yeah, Let me open it with my secret knife. Oh, God. look at us coming full circle. Why are we here today? Because he gets hard for full circles. I do. You should see him in half circles. Flaccid. We you have. See, he sees a full circle. The fastest. Old brand. Oh wow, I can't talk. Old brandy. Old, brandy. Yeah, old, wanna, old we, fashioned. Brandy. Old fashioned. <laughs> yeah, th- this is your thing. I'm choking up. Look at the fastest old fashioned called Drink Wisconsin Brandy Old Fashioned out of a can. This is why we don't talk for Thank ad you. reads. Thank you very much. Look at that. Already done. Already made. It's ready to enjoy. Yeah, into this <laughs> I've done that a few times. All right, what we got here is a Drink Wisconsin Brandy Old Fashioned, made with Drink Wisconsin Brandy and other natural flavors. It's the fastest old fashioned you can ever make in your entire life, Judd Crackett. That's as fast as it takes. You can take, you can just pretend that you mixologist the fuck out of it and bring it upstairs to your friends or bring it back from the bar and they'll go, man, that's a damn good brandy old fashioned. And they're going to think that you're a mixologist. They're going to think you're a seasoned bartender. Cusky, take a drink. Tell us what you think. <sighs> Wish I had some cheese curds with this. Okay, well, we don't. Next pitch. Cheese curds not included. That's exactly true. But you're going to enjoy this cocktail. It's a damn good brand new old fashioned. You can catch this at the corner bar in the Deer District at the Drink Wisconsin Pub or at any of your local retailers. Drink responsibly, think responsibly. That is the actual tagline. <laughs> it is. What else does we it say on this can that I can read? It said cheese curd not included, which is why I said <laughs> yeah, I wish I had some yeah. cheese curd. Oh, it did say that? Yeah. Oh, it does say that. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I didn't read the can while I did this pitch this time. <laughs> I know. From basements to beaches hey, and you look pontoons. Me like, that was fucking stupid. I'm like, mm. this is the thing I gotta be. See, it says think think res- it does say thing response. It is also 100 percent gluten free for all our. Uh, That's wild. 100% this is gluten free. I I for honestly, our celiacs out there. Could you imagine <laughs> if they put some gluten in this? <laughs> for our celiacs. That's hilarious. And if you're diabetic, please send us your whiskey. Quintessential oh, that's anywhere true. from basements to beaches and pontoons to parking lots. Pour over ice or sip it straight from the can. That's what we're doing right so now. Good. We did pour this over ice I when did, we first had uh, it. Went to a fancy. I went to a fancy bar in Madison. The corner uh, bar at the Deer District. No, I I went to one in Madison. It was a uh, the botanist or the botanical social something like that. And I said, "Give me an old fashioned." How long did the it take? Better. The can was better. It took so long. A man with a curly mustache made it with a lot of tattoos and shook it so violently like he was trying to be on an episode of like Cocktail or something like yeah. that. It was wild. And I'm a 10 out of 10, I would rather drink the drink was constantly brand new fashion out of the can. It's way better. What he made. It's way better. And the bartender is this cute little guy. I like cute little guy. This is happy. Can. Happy. This is a tried and true recipe. You go to a bar, they're kind of fucking around. They're eyeballing it. Yeah. I used to, I, I, I made old fashions a couple of times, and they're really bad. This yeah. one's really good. We yeah, were. I worked at a college bar, and they were like, "Oh, whenever it would be parents' week, I'm like, can I get an old fashioned?" I go, 
You can get what we think is an old-fashioned yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to muddle cherries right now? Yeah. I don't even know what that means, yeah. man. You're chewing it up and spitting it into the cup. <laughs> they, no, like, there was, like, my uh, owner's like, this is what you do for an old-fashioned here. And I was like, you go get the Corbel, you get one lemon, one lime, one cherry, a little bit of juice, muddle it, throw some sugar in there, and then soda water. And I was like, I think that's kind of wrong. Yeah. Um, like, like, what about bitters? And I'm like, if they ask for it, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's in the recipe. <laughs> They're asking for it by saying, can I have an old-fashioned? Old fashioned. And I'm like, what kind of glass do we put in? He goes, oh, you can just put in one of the plastic ones we're putting the vodka sodas in. Like, this <laughs> Dude, is imagine great. if you had these, though. You could have been like, sure, we got to pour yeah. it in. <laughs> pour yeah. it in. And, and they're like, going to be like, damn. And you'd be like, man, this is the best old-fashioned you, ever had. You'd be surprised how many, like, drinks you have at restaurants that are already pre-made like that. That's like, awesome. There are a lot of – some of them scare me. This one does not. Um, but the ones that are like, yeah, we have cocktails on tap – I don't like that. I don't like like a bar is like literally like oh you want a cosmopolitan? Let me pull the old. Uh, well, usually that's their specialty. They usually when they do that, it's like their specialty. And they yeah, have their at, mix. At, yeah, but at it's the in the a brewer, keg and at keeping the brewer, it. At the brewery game, they have Long Island's on tap. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that's crazy. Those, Imagine those getting get a murdered. keg of Long Island. They'd get you murdered. We did that with Vegas bombs. A keg of Vegas bombs? Not a keg. We sh- we should have. Is we it getting any cooler? Vegas bombs. It was um. You know, like those giant lemonade things you'd see at like Panera. Yeah, we'd get it was like Achilles. What? The, the lemonade's Achilles at Panera. Lemonade's Achilles at Panera. Wait, you guys have not read a headline in the past two weeks. I was watching the Iron. Please Pop. enlighten me before <laughs> I. <laughs> the the charged lemonades at at Panera have been killing people. How so? Just because they're full, so full of sugar. And and people thought they were just lemonades. Oh, there's caffeine in it. Yeah. So people are just housing these. <laughs> There's <laughs> caffeine in the lemonade. At Supercharged Panera? lemonades. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The charged lemonades at Panera killed multiple people. That's insane. Damn. Yeah. yeah. That's really fun. That's not funny that people are dying from lemonade. But if there was one yeah, thing to die lemonade. from, it's kind of funny. Yeah. It's lemonade. <laughs> Go on with the story. <laughs> and secret knives. Yeah. No. We just we took one of those. Like take two of those, put them together, and we would do the mix for Vegas bombs. So mm-hmm. it was ours was. Crown, kinky, and peach schnapps. We just fill it up. It was <sighs> shit brown liquid that was on tap, and they're like, "Yeah, can we get twelve Vegas bombs?" Like, sure. And then but poured that's the in, and then Red Bull. It's it's so much more efficient. Mm-hmm. But there's just I would rather see you make it fresh out of the bottle. Mm-hmm. I know those bottles have little plastic snow cone things on top, so the bugs don't go in them yep. and whatnot. But just mentally, I think it's going to taste better if it hasn't been sitting in your plastic vat since God knows when. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That makes sense. I think we got, we should all get happy tattooed on our on our body. I feel like happy tattooed on your body would make the most sense. I think it would fit with your theme. What? Lightsabers, alligators? Colorful and whimsical. That's a, that's a, that's a black and white tattoo. That would fit your walk the line, buddy. Mm. <laughs> it might fit the W down here. Yeah, it would. <laughs> but Judd I can see you get getting it colored. Mystery ones. Don't you? Gonna... Is there a happy on your clipboard? Uh, yeah, happy's on my clipboard. Look, the cherries. That cherry's red. Yeah, but that that's look way too sophisticated for my leg. Yeah, look like I got kicked out of a bike. You know what? That's one of Judd's secret tattoos this year. Uh, hey, can you do a tattoo reveal for us? <laughs> Maybe put it on the we Patreon. Get enough, we get enough Patreon subscribers. I'll show you my. We get favorite. to ten Patreon subscribers. Judd will strip down and show you and his I tattoos. Get, and I'm getting another one in like a month, uh, two months. So I really want to get another one. I do too. I don't know what Where I want. Are you get yours? Uh, Menominee, Michigan. No, I mean on your body. <laughs> Where do you get all these secret? Would you get Fat ones? Chance if we paid for it? If you paid for it, sure. I'll get FC. F- no, no, no. Fat Chance. <laughs> Fat Chance, I'm going to do that. What if you did Fat Chance, buddy? <laughs> also, there's a movie called Fat Chance. Do you get another We're going to get f- fucked by copyright. No, no. There's a movie just called Fat Chance. And every time you just type into YouTube, Fat Chance, that shows up. The movie does? Yeah, so I think one time we should just watch the movie together. That's fine. What if we watch? I'm, I'm gonna they ripped off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's four dudes. But there's only three of us. Well, you let me know when you go to Michigan how much it costs for an FC tattoo, and I'll Venmo you. Would you get Fat Chance tattooed on you? Yeah, with happy on it. On it. 
Honestly, let's give this let's give this another six months. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you right now. Right here we go. All right, Fat Chance is a romantic comedy. <laughs> I'd say this is a bit of a about romance. love and acceptance. Fan Chance tells the story of Allison, an overweight dental assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Such a funny character. Oh my god. Who is challenged <laughs> to find her self worth when she falls for an online ra- relationship for her long term friend and crush, Justin. But there's a problem. She's an underweight McDonald's cashier. <laughs> but there's a problem. She used a photo of her attractive friend in an online dating profile, which that's what caught Justin's eye. Starring Sydney Sweeney, <laughs> in a Chris fat Pratt, in a fat and Super Mario. Yeah, and Allison spends the summer with Justin, balancing both versions of herself until a secret slips out. Inspired by a true story. Can you, can you imagine that? <laughs> the reveal, he goes, wait, you're fat? <laughs> Roll credits. <Yeah. laughs> no, we should watch Fat Chance. That'd be amazing. Wait. You're really fucking bad. <laughs> I mean, it's the, that's the plot of Nutty Professor. <laughs> that's all it is. It's the plot of probably so many movies. Yeah. Oh. Let's funny. end this. We're an hour. Drink responsibly. Think responsibly. I don't know. Over the corner bar of the Deer District, if you're obviously not in Wisconsin, try to figure out a way to buy the Drink Responsibly brand new old fashions or support us by um, following us on Instagram, subscribing on YouTube. And doing other things going that to the involve Patreon. supporting. Going to the Patreon because you will see wieners, Judd specifically. If you haven't joined the Drink Responsibly newsletter yet, do so. You'll see a invite to enter our little giveaway. Um, some merch from us and merch from Drink Responsibly if Hot Pockets are done. Um, if Yeah, I, you don't know about that yet, but we do have a giveaway going right now for anyone who uh, is subscribed to both our channels and... Likes our video and gives us a little comment. So you will not be getting a knife. <laughs> I know. I know. But, Judd asked. But that. if you want us to open your winnings, we will do that on air yeah, for we'll you. Show you guys with our feet. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye. We're sitting here, right here at the corner bar in the Deer District, where they have the best brand new old fashioned. In- One, two. Don't you know, the urine of a diabetic contains so much sugar that it can be purified and made into whiskey. Don't you know? That's Darren. (laughs) (laughs) And cranberries. One, two, three. Oh, Oh, that missed. And it's four guys against one, but he also was a college wrestler. So now we have to wrestle these pants off a guy who's very good at wrestling. Chainsaws were first invented for childbirth. I'm like, you know what? This is better on trees. What do you mean, why? Do you not know science? Oh my god, you're done. You're already done. Don't do it. <laughs>